Welcome back to Wave 3 Listens. First and foremost, priority one on this show is about you, your family, and their health. Sometimes there are topics that are tough to talk about, and that's why you need the professionals from Kaufman and Stigger Injury Lawyers. With me now is Jimmy and Matt Kaufman. Gentlemen, okay. welcome. Their father, the, the patriarch here, Marshall Kaufman. Welcome back to the show. How are you doing, John? Today we're talking about something, and it is a, a tough topic to talk about. We're talking about traumatic brain injuries. And this is something that, to me, this is the time that I need professionals and to, and to guide me a little bit. And if you ever need, and I hope that you don't, but if you ever need professionals in this area, we're gonna talk about what you should do to move forward. So first, I'm gonna ask you, Matt, okay, I know it sounds simple, but exactly what is traumatic brain injury? A traumatic brain injury is either a skull fracture, brain bleed, or a concussion. Um, a lot of times people uh, don't realize that they suffer a concussion uh, because they don't have any outside uh, physical effects such as lacerations, cuts, things like that. You don't actually have to hit your head on something in order to have a concussion. It'll be when your brain actually uh, moves rapidly inside of the skull. Okay, okay, that, that did clarify for me. So what are some of the causes of a traumatic brain injury? Uh, the most frequent, uh, according to the CDC, for people ages 15 to 44 is uh, motor vehicle accidents. Uh, another frequent cause is a uh, slip and fall or uh, trip and fall that can cause these, uh, as well as physical abuse, unfortunately. Uh, and then there are also explosive blasts, which you can see in the military, where people are, you know, suffer from post-traumatic uh, concussion syndrome and uh, PTSD as well. Okay, okay, now I'm, I'm a little more clear there. Now, so for those who are watching, I'll ask you this, Matt. So for, for those who are watching, Jimmy, I'll ask you. For those who are watching, maybe they're feeling some symptoms. They thought they've had a brain injury and they're not sure. What are some of the symptoms? Uh, some of the telltale signs of, of a concussion when you're in the emergency room uh, is dizziness, nausea. Uh, if you've lost consciousness at any point, uh, if you're dazed or confused, those can all be signs of a concussion. Um, those can show up immediately or they can show up down the road. A lot of times if someone has a concussion, it may not be diagnosed at the hospital. It, it may show up later on. When they get home, they realize they're nauseous. Uh, if you go to the ER, a lot of times they'll give you, uh, give you a little sheet that shows some of the symptoms of a concussion. And so you wanna make sure that you pay attention and look out for those symptoms. Uh, and sometimes a concussion or post-concussion syndrome uh, can, can have those uh, effects for years down the road or even for a lifetime. It's obvious to me, Jimmy, Matt, that you're both very knowledgeable on this subject. So if someone, maybe they're in a, a car accident or a slip and fall kind of accident, what's the first thing they should do or a family member should do? Right, the, well the first thing is to get medical attention. Um, it's really important to have medical documentation showing what the injuries are and getting a correct diagnosis. Uh, unfortunately, uh, a lot of times when people are injured, uh, they don't make time to get the proper medical yeah. treatment that they need and it's important to get that because a lot of times the insurance companies will evaluate these cases off of what's in, in the medical records. Uh, they don't care what you or I say about what our symptoms right. have been. If it's not documented by a medical, medical doctor, a lot of times they won't factor in, that in appropriately. All right, Jimmy, great information. Matt, you as well. Marshall, it's always great to have you on the show. Now, for those who want more information or just want contact information, should they go to your website, give your office a call? What should they do, Marshall? You can go to our website, John, at getthetiger.com, or you can call 502-458-5555. So and many someone, reasons. And you will talk to an attorney when you call in someone who will be able to help you and give you advice. Yes, yeah, see, that's why, that, there you go. So many reasons to call Kaufman and Stigger Injury Lawyers. There's the website up on the screen. Whatever the case may be, these are the guys to go to, Kaufman and Stigger Injury Lawyers. We'll be right back.